An aircraft carrier is the most critical sea-based asset a Blue Water Navy can boast of. These capital ships have the capacity to project air power over greater distances. While expensive to buy and operate, it may be ultimately less expensive and far more flexible than deploying and sustaining land-based air assets to an available, friendly host nation. The cost is one of the main reasons why very few countries have them. Today we are going to compare the United States' Gerald R. Ford with the British HMS Queen Elizabeth, and we'll try to determine which aircraft carrier is better. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification icon so you are alerted when we make a new upload. Number 1. Named after the 38th President of the United States, the Gerald R. Ford, class supercarrier, is set to spearhead the United States Navy. The new carrier features a host of cutting-edge technologies. The construction of Ford class carrier began in early 2007, and the carrier was commissioned in 2017. The Gerald R. Ford class is U.S. Navy's most expensive aircraft carrier of all time. As of today, the inflation-adjusted cost of the ship is around $15 billion. This supercarrier is 1,106 feet long and 134 feet wide at the waterline, but has a 256-foot wide flight deck. When at its heaviest, it displaces almost 100,000 tons of water. The carrier's internal layout is designed to be flexible enough that it can be quickly modified for a particular mission. On the other hand, HMS Queen Elizabeth is the fleet flagship of the Royal Navy. The British carrier is deployed as the central part of a UK carrier strike group, comprising escorts and support ships, with the aim to project power at greater distances. The aircraft carrier was commissioned in 2017. As of today, the inflation-adjusted cost of HMS Queen Elizabeth is around $4.7 billion. The British carrier is 919 feet long, 128 feet wide at the waterline, but overall width is 240 feet. The displacement of the ship is around 65,000 tons. Number two, the Ford class carrier is powered by two A1B nuclear reactors, enabling the carrier to gain speed in excess of 30 knots or 35 miles per hour. Aircraft carrier's nuclear reactors provide the electrical and motor energy of the ship by splitting enriched uranium to produce heat and convert water to steam to power the turbines. Technically, the ship has unlimited range, though maintenance needs to be performed at regular intervals. On the contrary, UK Ministry of Defense decided not to use nuclear propulsion because of its high cost and chose Rolls-Royce's Integrated Electric Propulsion System. The HMS Queen Elizabeth is powered by two Rolls-Royce marine gas turbine engines and four diesel engines providing combined power of 112 megawatts. As per manufacturer, the carrier has a maximum speed of 25 knots or 29 miles per hour. However, the ship reached maximum speeds of 32 knots during trials. The operational range of the vessel is around 10,000 nautical miles. The aircraft carrier can store food and fuel for seven days between replenishments. Number three, the Ford class carrier can accommodate 2,600 sailors and 2,000 naval aviators. Ford class carriers include quality of life enhancements, including improved berthing compartments, better gyms, and more ergonomic workspaces. The American aircraft carrier has capacity to carry up to 75 aircraft. A typical carrier air wing can include F-35, F-A-18 Super Hornet, Hawkeye, Growler, and helicopters, and unmanned air and combat vehicles. Extensive design modifications were made to accommodate 270 sorties in a day. The traditional steam catapults are replaced with electromagnetic aircraft launch systems. The system is 25% more efficient than the Nimitz class carriers and requires 25% fewer crew members. This innovation eliminates the traditional requirement to generate and store steam, freeing up considerable area below deck. Similarly, the British carrier has been extensively automated in order to limit the crew size to 1,600 sailors, troops, and other staff. The ship is capable of carrying over 40 aircraft with a load of 36 F-35s and four helicopters, but the carrier can carry 72 aircraft during wartime deployments. Depending on mission, the vessel can also carry anti-submarine helicopters, Merlin, Royal Navy Commando Helicopter, Force Merlin HC-4, Wildcat, Chinooks, and Army Air Corps Apaches. Unlike Ford class carrier, equipped with catapults and arrest wires, 
The British Carrier is fitted with a 13-degree Bodex ski jump to operate short takeoff and vertical landing aircraft. The whole designs are planned for 50-year service life and are configured with a ski ramp. By implementing this strategy, the carrier's service life will increase by at least 20 years. Number 4. The Ford class carrier has improved sensors, including an integrated, active, electronically scanned array search and tracking radar system. The dual band radar has no moving parts, therefore minimizing maintenance requirements. Unlike previous generation radars, the DBR does not need an operator. The system uses information about the current environment and doctrine from the combat system to make automated decisions. The specification and range of the radar is classified. On the other hand, the Queen Elizabeth class is equipped with cutting-edge sonar, radar, electro-optical systems, and electronic warfare technology. The ship is mounted with long-range, wide-area search radar, Artisan 3D Maritime Medium Range Active Electronically Scanned Array Radar and Navigation Radar. The main radar is capable to detect and track up to 1,000 air targets at a range of around 250 miles, while the Artisan Radar can track a target the size of Snooker Ball over 12 miles away with a maximum range of 124 miles. Number 5. Ford Class Carrier is armed with two Sea Sparrow missile launchers and two rolling airframe missile launchers. The Sea Sparrow is a medium-range surface-to-air missile. Designed to engage anti-ship supersonic missiles and low-flying aircraft, it has a top speed of Mach 4 and 31 miles range. While rolling airframe missile is a small, lightweight, infrared homing surface-to-air missile. It is designed to counter anti-ship cruise missiles. It comes with top speed of Mach 2 and range of 6 miles. The aircraft carrier is mounted with computer-operated three phalanx, close-in weapon system. The gun can fire 4,500 rounds per minute and can cover a 3.4 mile range. The carrier is also armed with four M2 12.7 millimeter machine guns to defend against fast approaching small vessels. The Ford class carrier comes with the most powerful nuclear reactor ever deployed on a ship. This reactor produces more than three times the electrical power as compared to previous generation reactors. This allows the U.S. Navy to deploy energy-intensive future weapons, like free electron laser, directed energy weapons, dynamic armor, and tracking systems. On the contrary, the British aircraft carrier is equipped with three phalanx close-in weapons system for anti-aircraft and anti-missile defense. For defense against fast attack crafts, the ship is armed with four 30-millimeter automated small caliber guns and miniguns. Type 45 destroyers escort the aircraft carrier in high-risk areas, while for lower-risk situations, frigates or even patrol vessels are used instead. So what do you think? Which aircraft carrier is better? The U.S. Gerald R. Ford or British HMS Queen Elizabeth? Let us know in the comment section. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe.